So we have an infinite series and we have to compute the sum if possible. It's pretty clear that this is a geometric series because it has the form a r to the n, right? So in this case, a is 2 and r is 1 third. And it's less than 1, so the series converges. Uh, if it's greater than or equal to 1, uh, if the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, then it diverges. So uh, the really big thing here is the 3. So in most books, the formula for infinite geometric series only works if you have a 0. But you can extend that. Here's how. So let's take the sum as n goes from 3 to infinity of 2, and then it's 1 third to the n. So since we know it converges, all you do is you take the 3 and you just put it right there. So And that goes in the numerator. So it's 2 times 1 third cubed. And on the bottom, it's just 1 minus r. So 1 minus 1 third. So again, you just take this number and just put it there. Always works as long as it converges. It will always work every single time. So it's a cheap hack to uh, avoid doing it the other way. There's another way to do it, and it's a little bit longer. So 1 over 3 cubed is 1 over 27. And 1 minus 1 third is 2 thirds, right? 3 thirds minus 1 third is 2 thirds. Let's keep going. I don't know why I put those extra parentheses there. It looks really weird. So this is 2 over 27 divided by 2 over 3. So it's 2 over 27 times the reciprocal of this guy. So 3 over 2. Oh, wow, this cleans up really nicely. So the 2s go away. And 3 goes into 27 9 times. So we just get 1 over 9. So super powerful technique. Um, you can just take the number, put it here, and then just divide by 1 minus r. Works every single time as long as your series converges.